we have 10 tips for the Mardi Gras. Number one. Uno. Be sure to take advantage of Bar Della Rosa. If you're a coffee drinker like I am, when you go for your morning coffee, especially if you want a, uh, if, if you want a specialty coffee, um, you may think, well, I'm going to go to Java Blue down on deck six. There is a very large Java Blue on deck six. And I can see why you go. You'll, you'll probably see it the first day you get on the ship. That's huge. Um, but in the mornings, it is super crowded. Super so crowded. instead, go up to deck eight and go to Bar Della Rosa. It's a smaller venue, but you can walk up there and they'll make your coffee. They'll make you all your special coffee drinks there. Much faster, much easier, a lot less of a line. Bar Della Rosa on deck eight. Go there for your morning coffee. Tip two. Breakfast at Guy's Pig and Anchor. Oh, yeah. Go to Guy's Pig and Anchor if you want to avoid the crowd at the buffet. Guy's Pig and Anchor, you may think of for dinner. They've got great barbecue food. Mm -hmm. Go there and have barbecue, listen to music. But you know what? In the morning, they've got an included buffet. It's a smaller, kind of southern-influenced buffet. Ooh, look at that. That looks good. Yep. And there's no charge. So if you want to avoid the crowd, you want a little different scenery, kind of a different laid back, kind of relaxed bar type uh, uh, setting, go check out Guy's Pig and Anchor for breakfast. Yum. That's tip number two. While we're talking about breakfast, I got to go to tip number three. Three. Big chicken. Yes. You may have heard a lot of talk about big chicken and big chicken for breakfast. They've got this delicious chicken and biscuit with this honey. spicy honey sauce. Oh, it's so good. So good. It's my favorite thing I had there. And you should know that you can get this and their other breakfast items until three o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah. if you're a late riser or you did something else for breakfast or you're craving another one, go to Big Chicken as late as three o'clock in the uh, afternoon. And here I'll put up the menu so you can check it out. Ah, and if you nice. want to throw back to this later, be sure to save this video so you can come back Big chicken, you can get breakfast up until three o'clock. So that's tip number three. That is so yummy, that chicken and honey biscuit. It mm. is. It's my favorite. Um, I also enjoyed uh, the, the other sandwiches, the daytime sandwiches, but yeah, you got to check that out. So that was tip three. What mm -hmm. tip is next? Four. How did uh, you guess? Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> tip number four. Now this one's, this one's a little different. Tip number four. Um... The Mardi Gras is a huge ship, as you probably already know, even if you haven't been on the ship. And it's laid out different than all the other ships they've done before. It's got this area on it where they do shows called, um, it's center stage at Grand Central. Mm -hmm. And they put on these great shows, just like you might normally see in the main theater. And Mardi Gras also has the main theater too. But this is a three-level theater where they put on shows. And there's balcony seating on decks seven and eight. And there's main floor seating on deck six. And this is all great, but these these balcony areas are really your only way to get from one end of the ship on each of these um, each of these decks. And it gets really crowded and really congested it does. on deck seven and eight because mm -hmm. it's a very narrow uh, pathway behind the, um, the balcony seating. And you'll have people stand there and watch the show or wait for the show or listen to the music. So if you need to go on deck six or seven or eight, and you need to go through the midship area to go forward or aft, deck six is your best option. It's got mm -hmm. a much wider area. You can get through there. Use deck six. Yep. Or stay on, stay on one of the decks with all the staterooms, on the cabins, because you'll get to your uh, where you're going a lot faster. Yep. I can't tell you how many times we were like, oh, boy, we need to go through the, the show going on. Avoid deck seven and eight. So that was tip number, what, four? Four. Now it's time for tip number five. Five. Joy, this is your tip. You <laughs> said tip? you've got to bring your own cup. Yes. So, you know, Carnival provides those little yellow cups mm -hmm. that are great and all. But if you are like me and I am a pop drinker, I want to bring my big cup. Yep, so, and that, that actual cup, I think, is the one you took with us on our cruise. 
Yep. Uh, here's a picture of you with it. <laughs> I think you were finding a, a hidden duck <laughs> that, there. Exactly. Uh, but you carried that around with you when you knew you were going to go get uh, take advantage of the bottomless bubbles and you were going to refill your cup in the buffet or whatever. You used that cup. And so, you also had a tip about filling your cup when you go to the buffet yes. using the bottomless bubbles, right? So Mardi Gras has this uh, bottomless pit or a cup Bottom, system. Bottomless bubbles, Bubble. soda package. So before you, you go to the keypad, before you do that, you want to put your get your ice filled up and then put your cup underneath the drink that you would want to have because you're only given like right so many seconds. But let me let me let me okay, let me clarify and be sure based on what you told me, because what you're describing sounds like pretty standard that you do at a fast food restaurant or something. What you're saying is put the ice in the cup before you scan your card. Right. Because as soon as you scan your card, the timer goes and you don't get a lot of time. They only and give you like maybe 20, 15, 20, 20 seconds, something like yeah. that, I think you said. So, so especially if you're filling a big cup like that, the ice, it, it, it doesn't limit you on ice. Mm -hmm. Fill up the cup with the ice you want, then scan your card, and then you can fill your cup. Because then it also makes you wait a while before you can fill it again. Right. right? It makes you wait like five minutes. Right. So if you're in the big... Big cup club like Joy is, take your big cup so you can you can fill it less often and you can have your soda available for you, but fill the ice before you scan that card. Tip number six, avoid the big chicken crowd. So we mentioned big chicken before, and you want to avoid the crowd at big chicken because being the new spot, it is very, very popular, and the line can get very long. If you want to go to big chicken, you want to be sure to go when it's not crowded, and that is not the first day when you get on. When you get on the ship, it's going to be the most crowded. The least crowded time is going to be on port days. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Guy's Burger uh, joint was back in the day and is on a lot of the ships still. Um, that's where everybody wants to go. Take advantage or maybe wait. Uh, take advantage of the port days or, or at least wait and don't go the first day. Number seven. The lanai. So the lanai is an outdoor area on deck eight. Uh, it's outdoor seating. If you're familiar with Norwegian, you maybe know some of the newer ships have the waterfront area. It kind of reminds me of that sort of thing. It's got a lot of outdoor seating. It's got um, a pool at the very back and uh, hot tubs. And it's got um, seating where you can go outside for various restaurants and bars, um, including um, the watering hole, Ooh. which is a great out outdoor spot. You can go there and get your drinks. I like the coloring that they have. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a nice spot. Um, so on deck eight, um, uh, towards the towards the back of the ship, you've got the lanai um, area and the watering hole. So that's tip number seven. Be sure to take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Tip number eight. Eight. Enjoy the quiet pool. So yeah. there's there's a few pools on the ship. There's the main pool out by um, by the uh, Red Frog Tiki Bar. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, then there's the pool in the patio area, which is, I was just talking about the lanai that's on deck eight. So there's that pool there, but that tended to be pretty crowded. But both of those are pretty crowded, but the tides pool at the back of the Lido deck is the quietest, quietest pool. Most of the time they've yep. got pool, a pool and hot tubs there. And if you're looking for the quietest option, that's where you want to go. And bonus, they've got a tides bar there too. Mm -hmm. And Big chicken is right there. So right. you're in a good spot at the at the aft area, uh, the tides pool. So check that out. And normally the hot tubs were available too. Yeah. Because it was it was hardly anyone there. That's right. So that's a great spot. So tip number nine, the tiki bar. I just mentioned the tiki bar a minute ago. The red frog tiki bar, a first for the Mardi Gras, is a tiki themed red frog bar. And it's actually two levels. And some of the time, it's it, the, the upper level is not always open. But when it is open, take advantage of that. Head one more deck up. Go to go go up to the upper deck of the Red Frog Tiki Bar and get yourself a drink there. You can avoid the crowd. And right around the corner is Guy's Burger Joint. Yum. So one deck up from the main pool, uh, the Red Frog Tiki Bar. Take advantage of that upper level. Uh Tip number 10. Are we already there? We are. We're there. Tip, Man, that tip was number fast. 10. Relax at the Havana Bar. The Havana Bar, if you want an indoor spot to relax, is when there's it during the day, is the quietest bar you can that I was able to find. 
Yeah. Very nice and relaxing spot. Um, and uh, they have great drinks. That's a great spot to go and just relax, get away from the crowd, the Havana bar. Um, in the evening, they have live music, and there's sometimes I'll have like trivia and stuff like that events going on there. But most of the time, it is the quietest spot to go. So you can tell I like quiet. Yes. So and it was it wasn't as noisy as the other places, probably because there was less people there. Yep. Yeah. So if you wanted to meet your spouse or anyone um, for just to talk. That mm -hmm. was a great place to hang out yeah, and, and read a book too. Got some cozy seating and it's 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 a nice area and it's nicely themed uh, with a Cuban theme to the bar. But they've got all kinds of cocktails, beers, and they even have some coffee drinks. Yeah. So that's our 10 tips for the Mardi Gras. We hope you enjoyed that.